what's up everyone welcome back to my channel as you can see I'm still in my bed so today this morning I decided to film you guys uh, you know a morning routine like oh by the way for the first timers if you don't know me my name is Magali welcome to my channel and please go ahead and subscribe hit the notification button so that every time I post a new video you will be notified okay good morning my people how are you guys so anyway welcome welcome for the first time as on my channel this morning I decided to do a morning routine for you guys um, yeah as you can you know uh, see it's actually um, it's 557 um, I want to show you pretty much like what I do when I wake up, like the first hour, what I do, my devotion. So another thing I do when I wake up is I will take off this, obviously, and because I just want some air in my hair, um, and then I will drink some water. Like I think I drink like three of these every day, and two of these is like literally two liters. Uh, sorry, three liters. And also, this is another secret for like good skin, you know, good skin, water. You gotta drink water, water, water. So sometimes I warm my guys. I will have like when I wake up, like I feel like just going back to bed immediately because I just been sometimes tired or maybe I slept late like, the the night before, or it's just what it is. Like I just can't wake up so I always keep my phone far from me so for those who struggle waking up in the morning and pray don't keep your phone next to you because what what happens when you keep your phone next to you when the alarm goes off you know what you're gonna do you're just gonna hit snooze and snooze and then what's the point so you gotta keep your phone I keep my phone far 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 like all the way in the bathroom so and for me to wake up when I hear the alarm it's so annoying I have no choice but to go and just you know and when I wake up I'm off the bed the cold already hits my body and then I wake up and then I turn the light on the first thing I always turn the light on and I head to the kitchen straight to the, to the kitchen and make my make myself some tea alright so this is the on and just a couple after maybe a minute or two it's gonna start boiling like that and you hear the noise so what you do is you just wait and when the water is ready this is the tea I was telling you guys about it's the spice chai so it's chai tea and it has black tea and exotic spices um, as you can see I got this from Trader so I take one tea bag and I put it inside my, uh, my cup and then I bring my tea like that. Oh, I also add a, like a spoon of honey uh, for energy as well. So I wash it, you know, while I'm drinking this tea because I don't like to pray when I'm like still asleep. I like to fully be awake and that's when I can actually read my Bible well. Uh, so now I'm just going to start washing and just taking it in, um, programming my mind right and getting myself ready to, to speak to my father. Thank you. 
Anyway, guys, here I was playing Narachi Jujue by James and Daniela. This song always hits my soul, man. It always hits my soul. I love praise and worship. It is just a good way to also get your spirit ready,、uh, get your soul ready to, to, to pray and to just get in the mood of prayer. And also,、uh, that is another form of. You know, like praise and worship is another form of prayer because you know that's the time you're like giving God glory, you're, 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 you know, you're singing. You know, sometimes I actually usually stand on the side and also dance. And because when I'm praying, like I like to be real with my God, like I like to just be like, you know what I'm saying, just enjoy. You know, prayer should be like, should be fun, it should, it should be. You know, you should be yourself before God, you know, and not make it like a, like a ritual, like make it boring. No, man, I love to have fun and pray when I'm having fun and talk to God and just tell Him everything about anything. I like to talk to God. I tell Him everything, literally. I tell Him everything and every little, like everything. I mean, everything. Like, I don't, like, I don't leave anything out. So, I actually ended up doing a serious prayer.、Um, this is literally what, what you know, praise and worship does for me.、Um, like, sometimes I, I, I'll go to pray, and you know, I, I want to pray, but I don't know what to, where to start or what to say. And, you know, praise and worship just gets me started. So, if you're struggling, you can't pray, I highly recommend that you always listen to praise and worship before you start praying. And it's also very good to pray in the spirit. If you don't know how to pray in the, in the spirit, in tongues, honestly, all you have to do is ask the Holy Spirit and He will teach you. He will just give it to you. He will give, the, you, know, he will give you the gift of tongues.、Uh, it's available for everybody. And also, when you want to pray and you don't know what to pray about, it's good to pray in tongues because that's the Holy Spirit praying through you. And sometimes, let me tell you, our prayers are very selfish because we're just praying, God, give me, give me. We're asking God, asking God. It's all about us, but listen. Sometimes you gotta turn yourself off and forget about yourself and just get in the spirit, pray in tongues, speak to God, and you know, allow the Holy Spirit to use you to intercede through you to pray for nations, to pray for your loved ones. You know,、uh, and if you struggle to pray, like your prayers are short, it's because, like, check your prayers are you really just praying for yourself? Are you praying for others? You know, think about your area where you live, pray for you know, people around you, pray for your 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 co workers, pray for your. Your city, pray for your nation, pray for your siblings. Like, there's so many things to pray about, you know. It's not all about us, man. It's about we are here to to just lift each other up in prayers. So, what I do when I'm reading my Bible, I usually have like a you know, one of these, and I journal, I write down like pretty much like after I finish reading, I write down what I, you know, I took,、uh, what I felt like. You know,、uh, I was getting from the word and what the Holy Spirit was literally ministering to me.、Um, I write it down and then I go about my day and I will write whatever else that comes to my mind. You know, sometimes I won't lie, like, I don't have, like, you know, a lot. I, I, when I pray, I like to pray and put it out, all the, you know, everything out there. But sometimes because I wake up very early, I don't want to wake up, you know, my, I don't want to wake up my roommate or just be loud. So I'll write my prayers down.、Um, you know, I have moments when I'm like praying out loud and I have prayers where I just write my prayers down.、Um, so, yeah, so that's what I do pretty much. So, here what I was doing,、uh, so I pretty much. Read the Bible. When I'm reading the Bible, I am also taking down notes.、Um, however, I feel late or whatever the Holy Spirit puts you know, on my spirit, I write it down.、Um, and when I'm not inspired either, I don't write anything down. I will just read and,、um, uh, or use the scripture to pray. Like, I will sometimes get prayers.、Um, You know, I will have a prayer, like, like, I will get inspired to pray that scripture. Like, let's say, if I'm reading about wisdom, and then I'll ask God, I'm like, okay, God, give me wisdom, you know, to handle everything that I'm going to encounter, encounter today. Or if it's about forgiveness, then I'll be like, okay, God, I need to know if there's any areas in my heart I still need, you know, to,、um, if there's anything in my heart that I still have. You know, against anyone or even against myself, 
or if it is something that I still have against, you know, if anything I've done, you know, that is not pleasing to you, please reveal it to me. And I'll pray like that. And I'll ask God to, to just really like search my heart and reveal, you know, anything that is not like him inside of me so that I can, you know, um, so that he can help me get rid of it. So as you can see here, like I'm praying, like I would just get inspired and pray. So one thing you have to do is that you got to go with the flow and stop being like, you know, technical, or, you know, just go with the flow. So here's another thing I love doing uh, when I wake up, like after praying, you know, the first hour is dedicated to God. And then the second hour, I just come here, I come outside. I sit outside, by, you know, at the balcony. Uh, I mean, my water and my speaker, they go with me everywhere I go. <laughs> so like now, um, like the first 30 minutes, I'm going to be, I'm going to be reading this book. Uh, it was written by Dr. Miles Monroe. It's on weighing and dating. Um, it's really a good book for like those who are single like me, you know what I'm saying? It's, um, like you said, it's a sensible guide to a fulfilling love relationship. I had to read, I feel like I read this book. Um, this is my second time actually reading this book because if for it, this, there's a few things that I, I want to make sure that I understand even more. You know, I usually find myself reading a book again because I just want to get everything. I want to make sure I'm not just reading, but I really, you know, I want to... <laughs> I want everything to just be in my heart and, and I want to be able to apply what I read. Yeah, so as you can see, sister, uh, don't kiss dating goodbye. <laughs> you know, um, it says, in waiting and dating, you will learn the importance of sharing your faith in God. You need to, I mean, the need for personal wholeness, the importance of true friendship in a relationship, the need for finding the right person, how to discern the right mate, much, much more. The principles in this book will guide you through a period that for some is the most confusing time of life. For, any mo uh, for anyone looking for that special someone with whom to share life, this book is essential, fun, and full of hope. It's true. Um, so I'm actually going to start reading from chapter one. So here is another book I'm reading. Um, this one is about business guys so i'm always intrigued by business uh, i love business i know deep down to the core i know for a fact that i'm an entrepreneur um <laughs> i would love to end up working for myself one day uh, it's the goal by you know god's grace god's will uh, so this one is pretty much talk. It talks about why small business don't work and what to do about it. So pretty much like, you know, it helps you to understand like, you know, what to expect, you know, if you start a business or if you already started a business and you're experiencing some challenges, pretty much this one is going to provide some solution on what to do and how to get it started right. So I highly recommend this book. I am on chapter 11 and so far I'm super like this book is eye-opening I'm so glad I'm reading this book so for those you know business owners out there or if you're thinking about opening up a business check this book out this speaker right here is my baby like my baby okay yeah she goes everywhere I go so what I do I play focus music it's like those quiet focus music it's perfect for like when you're reading even when you're praying when you're meditating it just gets me it keeps me focused and it just oh, it makes my spirit feel it just makes me feel good you know and it makes reading fun and this candle is just like oh, those chill vibes I'm all about chill vibes guys like I'm really all about chill vibes all right guys so yeah guys i love to sit here and read and just like get in the zone i love to listen to nature you know like now i can like, i can hear some birds um i can hear like you know the world getting you know the world is waking up um it's usually a little bit darker when i'm outside but today because i was filming this video i was like let me just go outside when it's like a little bit bright so you guys can see me um but man i feel like starting your day 
like first thing before you do anything mind you i haven't checked my text messages i haven't i don't check nothing before like the first two hours are strictly the first is me and my father the second is just me time and then after all of that that's when i'm going to check my messages that's when i'm going to respond to text messages or make some phone calls or anything i usually go after like right after this i go straight to the gym and you know um this is life changing try it you will never regret it it's amazing and just being outside and taking that fresh air first thing it makes like your day your whole day just goes like amazing like you you are peace you just that positive peaceful energy so guys i highly highly recommend that you um that you would um try this you know next time and see what it's all about so now i'm gonna play my music so i can read anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you all for watching um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this video i hope you learned a thing or two um let me say let me say this guys again i am showing you this because you know i want you all to be inspired and to know that following christ is is the best thing that can ever happen to you uh and when we give life our life to christ you know he he just activates that that you know he spirits you you know righteousness to pursue you know greatness and to become the best version of ourselves um, in a godly way in a way that is glorifying to him and in a way that is inspiring to uh, to others so keep following God keep listening to him and um, you know if you don't know how to do something ask someone if you you know need help ask someone um, you know if you know something share with others um, because I feel like if we share what we know with each other this world will be a better place um, and then don't just pray for yourself pray for others as well uh, put God first man before anything else put God first let him be you know the center of your life and um, let me tell you you know um, go to God before you go to anybody else about anything Go to God first so thank you all please go ahead and subscribe like share and leave a comment I'll see you next time and have a blessed and fruitful week ahead I love you